Welcome to How to Cook That, I'm Anne Ridden and today we're making an M&M My Little Pony Rainbow Dash Cake. And this is for those of you who wanted a My Little Pony cake, those of you who wanted an easy cake and those of you who wanted one with no fondant. The first thing you'll need to do is make three trays of chocolate cake and I'll link you to howtocookthat.net in the description below this video to give you the recipe for that and all of the recipe quantities that you need for the frosting as well. I'm using a brand new frosting recipe that I invented for you today. You'll need cream and I have a new page on my website explaining which cream to use for those of you who aren't sure about that. Compound white chocolate and some jelly or jello in your favorite flavor. For this cake, it's best if you can choose one with a bluish color. Place the powdered jelly into a saucepan and add the cream and give it a really good stir. Then you want to leave it for a little while so that the gelatin in the jelly can absorb the moisture from the cream and go soft. And this will take about 10 minutes and it will leave you with a lumpy looking mixture like this. It kind of looks like the cream is off but it's not, it's just the gelatin there. Turn on the heat and then stir that until all the sugar and the gelatin is dissolved and it just starts to bubble. Now turn off the heat and add your compound white chocolate. Keep stirring until that is all melted. Then pour it into a bowl and place it in the fridge for a couple of hours to cool down. You can speed up the cooling process by putting it into a tray in the fridge instead of a bowl if you like. Once that is cooled, it will look thick like this, which is from a combination of the chocolate setting and the gelatin setting as well. Whip that up using an electric mixer and you'll get a beautiful, smooth, fluffy frosting in the flavor of your Jello. Now cover your cake board in foil and add one of your tray cakes to one side. Make sure your cakes are completely cool and you've already leveled them off. You'll have a space at the top and that's where we want to add another half of your tray cake. Cover that whole thing in a thin layer of your frosting and then add your next layer of cake on top. I find it easiest to put the cake onto a flat tray and then pull the baking paper underneath so that the cake can just slide off onto there. Now you need to print out a picture of Rainbow Dash and cut around it using a serrated knife. And I'll put a picture in the size that I'm using on the howtocookthat.net website. So you can print it out just like that. Or you can of course find your own picture of Pinkie Pie or Princess Luna or Rarity or whoever you want to use for your cake instead. If you want to make a cake for less people, then you can use just one layer of cake instead of using two, so you'll have less quantity. Take out the excess cake from all the little gaps there and remove your template. Now for our crumb coat, take some of that frosting and heat it up in the microwave and then pour it over the cake and spread it out really thinly. What the crumb coat does is it just stops you getting crumbs in the next layer of frosting. So when you spread it on, you'll have a nice clean layer of blue frosting rather than having little specks of crumbs through it. Once you've covered the top and sides in the thin crumb coat, add another layer of frosting over the top and spread it out smoothly. Now for the fun part, adding all the M&Ms. Start with the mini M&Ms for the outline and add some mini orange and red where they come across the leg there. Follow the blue up and around the leg and then add the rainbow colored M&Ms for the tail. I'm gonna use mini M&Ms going to normal ones, then crispy ones in the middle and then back down to minis at the end of the tail. Just keep following your picture for which colors go where. Fill in the body with pale blue M&Ms and continue adding the blue minis for the outlines. Then follow the colors that you've put on top down onto the sides of the cake too. And you can use dark blue on the bottom sides of your cake and pale blue on the top side of your cake if you want to so you get a bit of a shading effect. Now for the eye, yes we are going to use a small amount of fondant for this because it just looks better. Cut out an oval shape and then roll a small oval of white and squash it down to match the shape on the eye there. Then roll another bigger oval and squash that down to match the larger white part of the eye. Next cut out a flat oval of some purple fondant or you can use deep pink colour and place that on top of your white bit of your eye. Then roll out an oval of black and squash that into place on top of the purple. And now add in those two pieces that we made just a moment ago of white on top. Then roll a snake of black, making it thinner at one end and wrap it around the eye, just like it is in the picture. Then cut yourself three little thin eyelashes from a snake of black and put them into place using just a tiny bit of water to make them stick. 
Then add your eye into place on the cake. For the rainbow lightning flash, roll a snake of red, yellow and blue, join them together using a tiny bit of water and bend them into a zigzag, and then add flattened white balls of fondant for the clouds. You'll need four of those on top. Roll a thin snake of blue and use that to outline your cloud. Then add that to the cake, gently pressing it into place and you're done. I remember choosing cakes for my birthday when I was little based on how many lollies or candies they had on top, so I think this one would definitely pass that test. Subscribe to How To Cook That for more cakes, chocolates and desserts. Click here for last week's chocolate flower dessert video and here to go to the channel to see my other videos and here to go to the website to get those recipes. This cake was requested by Vivica Lehman, Hannah Chelsea, Alyssa, Mercedes, Will, C. Crow 104, Jadine, Nalanabek, Bella, Moassa, High 667, Polka Dots, Anna, Yelissa, Ant Dragon EX, Lee, Michelle, Dana B, Alexa, Izzy, Avery, Ayana, Bo, Yasmin, Paulina, Ashley, Team Blocked, and so many, many more. Put all of your requests in the comments below. Have a great week, and I'll see you all on Friday.